What is up, guys? Man, Gav, back with another video. And today is another episode of the <laughs> Fire Team Something series. Oh my gosh, I've made a lot of episodes, I still haven't named the team. Uh, real quick, I just want to say if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. 75% uh, of you aren't subscribed who watch a lot of my videos, and that's insane. So if you watch a lot and you enjoy, please like and subscribe. Anyway, what is happening here is that the opposing um i guess fire team but the insurrectionists are charging an oni base and they're trying to kidnap someone and we're going to get to that lastly but we're going to go through the rest of the scene so again it's the insurrectionists they are wearing the infinite armor most of the time they don't have helmets some do and versus in this case cryo troopers um those sort of spec ops looking marines and then an mpd so they are swarming this Oni base in a city and they're trying to take over and kidnap someone. But we're going to get to that at the end. First off, we have a Frost Raven, which is coming down. And this is an insurrectionist vehicle. They scavenged this a while back from a ship. And it has come down and deployed some troopers. And it's also giving cover fire. And it's actually shot down this um, NMPD um, Hornet. Sorry. And there's troopers charging it. It crashed. That an MPD trooper fell to the ground. And that an MPD pilot is getting out. And he's trying to take out one of the insurrectionists on a banshee. All right. And then we have another banshee. Or, sorry, ghost. Uh, like the other one's a ghost as well. And they are charging down this road and going towards the entrance of the Oni base. There is a specter here. And the Oni... Oh, sorry, um, the insurrection are shooting up at the Oni base bird's nest. There's also a jackal riding, and then there is some resistance from two NMPD troopers right here. And they are shooting at them like that. And they're using shield and cover. Here is just several troopers running in. Here is a jackal scaring kind of, I mean, he's trying to intimidate an NMPD trooper. And here's an NMPD cruiser driving, and it took out one trooper right there. You can see it. And then there is another trooper running away. Then there's one more NMPD trooper shooting at the Spectre. Here is a insurrectionist coming around this corner shooting at an NMPD trooper. And he came up from behind that barrier. There's a trooper down. There's this guy with a plasma uh, rifle. Plasma, sorry. Um, there's another insurrectionist. And they are all shooting at these cryo marines. And the reason that they use cryo... Um, like flamethrowers i guess is because they don't want to actually destroy the oni base and if they set fire to it, it would destroy a lot of valuable information so they use the cryo stuff so it's you know saves the unsc a lot of money and information and this group of insurrectionists are charging the door and trying to make their way up to the bird's nest because the only people who can make it there right now are spartans and some jackals who can jump up there this Flame Trooper or Cryo Trooper is holding up a jackal that was trying to sneak in invisibly. And then there's that uh, insurrection shooting right there. This insurrectionist is getting taken out by the Cryo Trooper. There is a trooper riding in right there with a plasma launcher. And he's about to shoot it at the NMPD Warthog. The Warthog is fighting on like just the surrounding area. And this trooper actually got shot off. This trooper is waving them on. They came from this road, and then there's more insurrectionists coming from that road. There is an insurrectionist in a rocket hog, and I think this is one of the coolest vehicles that I personally have. I think it's so awesome. And they are trying to shoot up and if, in case any air support comes. Here is sort of a rigged up vehicle. They just put a turret, they mounted it on a truck, and they're using it to take down the NMPD officers on this little bridge. There's just tons of troopers charging in right there. So it's nothing really too crazy. Except there's little firefight right there. This trooper is throwing a grenade at the um, insurrectionist vehicle. And then there's someone leaving. I wonder who that could be. And this trooper right here could shoot at him. Because, you know, he's on an Oni vehicle. But he's not. Which is interesting. Here is a flame mech that is being used to fight off the insurrectionists that are charging that way. There's a flamethrower going towards that jackal who's climbing on top of the car, as well as these insurrectionists right here. 
All right, now we're getting to the top of the base, and this is kind of the main part of the diorama. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but there is a jackal sniping on top of the Frost Raven. There is this jackal right here who's trying to cut that cryo marine. He jumped on top and snuck up behind him because, you know, you wouldn't assume someone could jump on top of a building. This cryo marine has been taken out. This one is still sniping. He's trying to take out the specter. They are surrounding this team of Spartans that... Um, Oni agent got taken down already. This one got taken down, but they're all trying to fight back. There is a Banshee coming down and giving cover fire, and a Jackal coming from that side as well. This um, Marine has a pot missile pod, and he's shooting it at the Frost Raven, as well as this Marine right here, who's shooting a rocket at the Frost Raven. And that one actually looks like it might take it out. Here is one of the Spartans, and he has a turret that's been dismounted, and he's firing it around. And then there is another Spartan right here, and he's just sniping, giving this Spartan cover. And this is something kind of familiar. So they are getting to the top, and they have an evac from another insurrectionist right there. That Spartan you've seen in a previous diorama, and he's been being taken out right here. And the person he sent to be to guard is also being taken out. So someone gave the information about this general and where he was and how they would be able to take him. So that's really interesting for the storyline. Uh, yeah, it's. I know that there's a lot going on in the storyline, and so it might be hard to keep up with, and I understand that. So if you have any questions, please comment below, because for those of you who are actually keeping up, that's really awesome. I think that's great, and I appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to, again, I've been doing this. I'm going to just add some scenes at the end, just that I think are really cool. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please have a great day. Please like and subscribe, and comment what you think. All right? And I'll see you in the next one. If you choose to leave now, I totally understand. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this truck is ramming into an NMPD officer vehicle. guys and this is the last scene that is it for this one i really appreciate you guys who stayed till then have a great day